Everything that we do in our class helps us to stay organized and helps us in learning. How to work together in collaboration while thinking strategically strategically for the future of learning. 21st century learning is the most important thing you need to do in school. 21st century learning is collaborating, critically thinking, being creative, and communicating. What my table does is discuss how we do something or how to solve that question. And without work, there is no way of falling behind. iPads and Chromebooks are helpful because it is easier to write on and you can do many more things on these devices because you have assignments, videos, worksheets, and all this combines to make it easier. Having these two tools provides an experience I have never had before. When I walked in here, I felt as if I were meant to be here. How these tools help me is unbelievable, and Mr. Slaskar makes it fun. My grades have been better so far, and I even understand math better. Google Drive is a good tool because it helps the classroom learn in different ways. In Google Drive, we all do work and assignments to help us learn about new things. In Google Drive, we do presentations, share, and work collaboratively as a table group. In Google Drive, we can make our own documents to write stories or other assignments so our teacher can give us quick feedback by commenting on our document. He shares assignments through Google Drive. In Google Classroom, we write Cornell notes, which helps us study for tests and sparks our discussions. We also do a lot of writing in Google Classroom to help get our drafts ready for our blog. Google Classroom is a good thing because it helps organize assignments online. Google Classroom is one of the best tools we use in the classroom. We use to get projects from our teacher and we get a due date, then turn it in. When we click on the project, it is uploaded to Google Drive. We use Google Classroom every day. The whiteboard tables are a great thing to have inside a classroom for collaboration, and I'm grateful to have them in mind. We use them whenever we need to share an idea or work together to discuss a tricky problem. Our whiteboard tables help us too because we use thinking maps like flow maps or circle maps to plan our writing or figure out math problems and brainstorm ideas as a group. For an example, we did a writing prompt and wrote down possible details for our writing. Our teacher gives us work like math, and we do close reading on iTunes U. We also have all of our textbooks downloaded onto iTunes U. It also shows what we're going to do that day. In iTunes U, Mr. Sasker can put in lessons for science, math, social studies, and he can also put in videos. You can also bring in your assignments and textbooks into an app called Notability. We use Notability to do math problems. Our textbooks can be imported to highlight important details for our Cornell notes in Google Drive. This is a very helpful tool because we don't have to use paper and we can just upload our finished work from Notability to our turn in folder on Google Drive. We do different STEM activities. For example, coding teaches us how to connect different blocks that have code to make a character move to get to the other character. Another example is when we measured a Hot Wheels car to see how far the car went when starting its roll at a certain height. My favorite STEM activity is coding. It is fun and easy. Coding is really important because every job is probably going to have something to do with coding. We use code.org to, to learn how to code. Another thing we do online to communicate is KidBlog. KidBlog is a blog for students to blog about anything they want and share it out to teachers, students, or whoever all around the world. We can comment on each other's writing. We share and connect with each other. We are writing for an audience. 